My name is Andrew and welcome back to another video. Now that's right, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can get a free working voice changer. That is right, a voice changer that is absolutely free and is 100% most likely the best one out there on the internet that you can get right now for free. So anyways, if you do like this video and this video does help you out, make sure to smash that thumbs up, that, that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel with that post notification turned on so you guys will never ever miss a future video. And comment down below if this video did help you. If you guys have any questions at the end or need some help with the installation program or with the program, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Anyway guys, let's just get straight into the video and show you guys how you guys can get a free working voice changer for Fortnite, CSGO, Rainbow Six Siege, Rocket League, Apex Legends. The list just goes on and on and also every single application out there too, such as Steam, Skype, TeamSpeak, Discord, anything you can think of really. Everything and anything. The only limit is your imagination. So anyway guys, without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video and show you guys how you guys can get a free working voice changer. So the very first thing you guys want to do is obviously, oh, oops, that's the wrong one. <laughs> the very first thing you guys want to do is um, download this program right here, Clownfish Voice Changer. That is right. Now, this is a free voice changer that you guys can get right now, and it's very, very easy to do. So if you guys would like to download the, uh, download this program, all you guys will do is go into the link in the description down below, hit on the link there, or just go onto your Google search and type in Clownfish Voice Changer, and hit on the first link you see. Now, once you open up this page, this is the website, the official website. And uh, you want to download the program, obviously you have to do that. All you guys have to do is hit on download and it'll automatically scroll you down here. So now the current version is uh, version 0.93. Now all you guys are going to do is obviously download the specific installation software. So for instance, I'm running on a 64-bit operating system. So I choose the 64-bit, 64-bit VST. If you guys are running on a 32-bit system, obviously you guys want to choose this one. For Vista, uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 or Windows 10. So very simple, if you're running on a 64-bit operating system, just hit on 64-bit. If you're running on a 32-bit, you just want to hit on 32-bit. Very, very simple. If you guys don't know what uh, your what bit you're running on, on your operating system, all you guys have to do is just go into your computer settings and it'll tell you there. Very easy. Now, there's also these plugins here, like push to talk and Soundboard. These are very, very cool plugins that you guys can use on this program. But in today's video, we're going to be focusing on the program. So all you have to do, hit on 64-bit, 32-bit. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again. But it's very simple. And it should take you 10 to 15 seconds, depending on your computer's speed and your internet speed very very quick and easy software to download and it's very very nice so basically once you guys have installed this clownfish voice changer all you guys have to do now is obviously turn it on it's that simple so once you guys install it you should get a desktop icon like this over here clownfish voice changer right here that's the uh the icon the desktop icon and that is what you'll get when you finish installing the program now all you guys have to do now is just turn it on it is that easy so once you guys turn it on just like that, boom, and you should hear a Windows 10 sound click, and once you guys hear that, it's on. So basically, if I go to the top right bottom, or the bottom right of my taskbar, I should see a voice, Clownfish voice changer. There we go. Now that orange means that it's actually on. And now if it's off, turn it off, and that now it's grey, which means it is off. So when it's orange, it's on, and when it's grey, it's off. Very, very simple. Now to turn on the voice change, all you guys are to do that. So it's not actually a program where you can actually up open up and like use it. It's like a just a taskbar mini click, kind of like an add-on to your computer. It's very very nice. And all you have to guys do now is turn it on. In here we have the magic. This is where all the magic happens, boys. Clownfish voice changes. Now here are all the different effects that you guys can use on your microphone in Fortnite, CS:GO, Apex Legends. The list just goes on and on, and it's crazy how many people you control and have fun with on the internet. It's crazy. Anyway, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys the effects. So here you have the alien effect. Now here, here we have, have the, the clone. clone. Now, now the, the clone, clone one is that much kind of like kind of like a kind of sound effect kind of. Here we have mutation. This one's pretty nice. This is the standard mutation, so just a normal speed mutation. Here we have the fast mutation. Now this one's pretty cool. It goes fast. Uh, it's very nice. Very nice. And then we have the slow mutation. mutation. Very similar to the mutation and fast mutation. Just different speeds, different effects, different tones. Here we have the male pitch. 
Now this is my favorite one. I use this on CSGO all the time and it's crazy how many people I control on CSGO. It's fun, it's crazy. Fortnite in particular as well because you've got all these 12 year you've got like all these 12 year olds, these seven year olds, it's so much fun. Here we have the female pitch, so right now I sound like a little bitch if you know what I'm saying. So right now I sound like a female. I probably sound like the biggest retard right now. I can't hear myself right now, but I'll hear in the when I'm editing it, I'll probably sound like the biggest retard. Here we have the, the, the helium pitch, so right now it's going slowly higher and higher, so we the female pitch. The helium pitch, so right now I just sound like I'm on helium. Here we have the baby pitch, so right now I just sound like, like, like literally a two year old, probably like a one year old. Uh, here we have the radio, this is obviously just like a normal effect where it's got the radio effect which is kind of nice, very very cool. Here we have the robot effect, so I actually sound like a robot. Exterminate! Exterminate! <laughs> that was my favourite one, I use it all the time, like Doctor Who. Daleks and here the final one here or not the final one but we have the custom pitch so this is where I can actually program the, the, the pitch I want and the vibration level I want very nice so we have the custom pitch and now I should sound like my normal person but if I go up my, my pitch will rise and I should sound like a little bitch <laughs> uh, and as it slowly goes up my voice should go up very nice and as I slowly go down my voice should go super super deep and also here we have the the silence effect. So basically, this silence effect is literally the silence effect. So basically, guys, those are the voice changer, uh, the voice changer, the different vibration, the different level of tones you guys can use on this application, which is for free. Don't get me wrong, this is for free, 100%, no cost involved, and you guys can have so much fun using this program. Now here we have the different sound effects too. So extend current voice with cool audio effects, turn on and off by clicking each one of them. So basically, these are just different sound effects, currently there's four of them, but they keep updating the software like every every now and then. So you guys are gonna get different different uh, sound effects and different voice changer tones that you guys can use in game and applications. So we have the sound effects, so here's like a church sound effect. All you guys will do is hit on the one and it should change the voice for you. But this is not really a voice changer, just to change the sound effects for you. So it's, it's a, a, not a big deal, but you guys can use them if you want to. Now here you have the microphone sensitivity, so right now my, I leave mine on default. But you guys can obviously change it depending on your what you want, that kind of thing. And all you guys have to do if you guys don't want to uh, use it anymore, just hit on clear effect, boom, and everything is set back to default right where it belongs. So I'm going to close that for the moment right now and I'm going to go back into the bottom right corner of my taskbar hit on right click and then show you the music player now this is very very cool now this is another part of the program where you guys can actually play music songs you can play memes different tunes on your um, game or application discord CSGO whatever you're using and you guys can actually loop songs or play songs or memes on different games now if you guys are ever wondering how people play memes and songs on different games and it sounds like sounds really good this is how they do it. They use this program or different voice changer programs and this is how they do it. It's very simple. So all you guys have to do, add a song. I haven't got any songs currently on my computer so I can't exactly show you. But all you guys have to do is add song and press play, stop or pause and it'll play through your microphone or not through your microphone but through your headphone, through your stereo system on your computer and it'll play through the game's audio and it'll, it'll, it'll sound freaking beautiful. That's so you can loop it, you can shuffle it, you can add a folder like a playlist of songs that you guys have on your computer and you can even search for songs too so if you guys have some songs or multiple songs you can even uh, scroll through your songs like that. Now the best thing about this too is the sound player so you guys can actually play different sounds too so we have the cheering, duck, fanfare, gong, gunshots, so as you can see there's heaps Oh, different sound effects here too. Smoke weed every day. You guys suck. You suck. Shit. Hail to the king. I feel good. See, there's all these different sound effects that you guys can use. And it's freaking awesome. So you guys can boom, and there's also the add sound. So you guys can add your own names, your own sound, that kind of thing. You can also change the sound volume. You can also delete clear sound effects. And it's very simple. So control F12 is the hotkey. So when I've got a sound selected, if I hit control F12, it will play through the game that I'm playing or the application I'm using to talk to people, which is very, very nice. Now, if you guys want to actually hear what your voice sounds like before using it in a game or an application, all you guys have to do is click on here microphone. Just make sure that you have one of the voice selected. I'll choose a uh, male pitch for now. So right now I've got the male pitch activated and now to hear it, all I have to do is go to hear microphone and I can actually hear my voice right now, which sounds really, really weird, not gonna lie. So anyway guys, I can actually hear my voice right now as the male, the male voice and it sounds really weird, so I'm just gonna stop that. <laughs> so you can actually uh, hear your own voice with the voice effect that you guys have selected. 
for the particular time. That's very, very nice. There's all these different other options to you. You've got VSTFX, Voice Assistant. Obviously, you have the setup here, the help, check for updates, homepage, about, and obviously exit. Now, to turn it off, all you guys have to do is click on turn off. And then, if it's gray, remember, if it's gray, that means it's turned off. And if it's orange, just like that, that means it's turned on. So, basically, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so you guys will never, ever miss a single video in the future. Like the video, comment down below if you guys have any help or need any help or uh, you have any questions or if the installation software isn't working properly. If you guys, just comment down below and I, I'll, I'll be more than happy to answer you guys' questions. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope this video did help you guys out. Anyway guys, like, subscribe, comment, and peace out.